The justice felicity Hoffman has been handed prison time over college admission scandal. It would be recalled that Hoffman worked with the scam's confessed mastermind, William Singer, to falsify a college entrance exam score for her oldest daughter, Sophia Macy. Hmm. Singer arranged for Sophia to take a SAT test in a special location, an exam widely used for college admissions in the U.S. Her result was a major improvement on her previous score. She paid the sum of $15,000 to get this done. In a letter to Judge Tawani, Hoffman wrote, In my desperation to be a good mother, I talked myself into believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. Hmm. I see the irony in that statement now because what I have done is the opposite of fair. I have broken the law, deceived the education community, betrayed my daughter, and failed my family. For our crimes, Felicity has now been sentenced to 14 days in prison for involvement in the college admission scam. She also has to do 250 hours of community service and pay a $30,000 US. Mm. A $30,000 fine, yes. So, we okay. discussed this last week, mm. and we spoke about how they were trying to say um, a sentence should be reduced, she should do community mm, service, pay $20,000 and be on a one year probation. probation. And I was mm. saying that would be very unfair Fair, because yeah. um, the fact that you're a celebrity doesn't give you the leverage to break the law mm. and say, oh, we'll give this person house arrest, we'll give them probation. Mm. If there's a particular jail time for this. Now, the prosecutors were asking for one month jail time, mm. but I think it was reduced to 14, 14 days. days, which is two weeks, and mm. then she, still, she will still be doing the 250 hours community service. And the fine has now gone up from 20,000 to 30,000. So okay, she's so paying it's like extra, extra 10,000 for, for the, the two, weeks. two weeks off. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's fair. I think justice has really been served. Yeah, like and I said last week, the fact that she came out very remorseful, I mean, if I was the judge too, I would give her a reduced the same things. Uh, um, a statement that you just even read mm -hmm. shows that she's really sorry about it. She was just trying to be a good mother, which is no justification yes. yeah. to being unfair to others. I mean, people stay away well, to people, for people the People go the extra mile to do things for, for their, their kids. Yeah. You get sometimes it may be right, sometimes it may, it may be, be wrong. wrong. So, which is why I like what you said that it doesn't justify what she did, but it's just that um, motherly love mm. for your kid. And she, I also read that when a daughter found out about this, she was like. Why didn't you believe I could do it? Do you mm, yeah, because really... right now, this thing has cost her a lot of things. Even um, a relationship with her daughter and her husband, because yeah. everybody's like. She also apologized to them publicly yeah. too, and mm. I think she's really remorseful. And um, I think she will come out stronger in this. Yeah, I, I, I know that she will come out stronger. Yeah. I because... think she's that type of person. Mm -hmm. But 14 days in prison for somebody that lives in Beverly Hills, wow. He'll be like, he'll <laughs> be like what, 100 what, years for her. The prosecutors <laughs> were saying that if we give her house arrest, or she's on probation and all that. that how is that punishment when mm, you have a mansion in Beverly right. Hills and all of that? That's no punishment. I mean, I can stay in my house for one, one oh, month if I have on. everything available. Yes. <laughs> everything know. is available, man. <laughs> you know? so, in fact, I can even be shooting my movies from she, my house. You I'll know, everybody, the camera, everything. camera, I have a nice apartment. Yeah, Let's just get it on. Yeah. I still need to make money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>